um, I'm not as versed as him. He's been to six of the seven continents. Um, and so he has both a personal travel agent and he also has a cruise travel agent. I don't know anything about either of those kind of travel agents. So he is the one that would book the travel, but we need to be clear when we're talking about just because he booked it doesn't mean, like I don't consider him having taken me any place. Let me just be honest. The only one that's ever taken somebody someplace is for his 50th birthday. I consider that I took him to Belize. And I took him to Belize because, um, you know, I don't want to discuss his personal business, but I'm happy Mr. Wade is still here with us. And I did 50 big, very big. Um, so still on that October Royal Caribbean cruise, um, even though Mr. he had a travel agent. I'm sorry. If you do me a favor. Mm. I don't know what cruise ship, what time. So if you'll help me and say October cruise with mama or the New Year's Eve trip with his sisters, I'll be able to, we can no communicate. I just don't know what ship. October cruise with mama. That's what yes. I'm talking about. Yes. He paid for the cruise and the flights for that trip. So he called his cruise agent and he booked that through them because he has a cruise agent. Right. He also has a regular uh, agent. I don't know the cruise agent's name. So I wasn't asking about his travel agent. I was just well, asking but if I'm he trying paid to, for those. He did not, though. Okay. Because the reason I consider that he did not is I gave him his money back. And I was about so to I, ask that. But initially, he paid for that. Yeah, he, he called his cruise agent. Like, I think they have his card on record. They do whatever. Okay. So initially, he paid for the cruise and the flight to Miami and the Royal Caribbean cruise. And my understanding of that October cruise is like it was a package the lady did for him. Okay. Um, so, and I'll get to the reimbursements and all that. I'm just trying to confirm he paid for the flight and the cruise in October. And I think that when you say things that way, I want this record to be Initially. abundantly clear that he calls his travel agent, he calls his cruise agent. They do whatever he tells them. He's like on a first name basis with these people. They do it. And then he tells me how much it is and I give him the money back. I don't, just like you're asking me about the money with Robin. I don't do my friends like that. So if you tell me it's a G, then you're going to get a $1,000. If it, Whatever it is, I didn't ever make him produce receipts to me. Whatever he told me it was, I gave him the money back. Isn't it true that he paid for the cruise and the, um, the flight on his credit card? I'm not asking about reimbursement or after. He used his credit card to buy the cruise and buy the flight, correct? I have no idea how he paid for it, okay. uh, if it's a credit card, if it's a debit card. But certainly he called his uh, cruise agent. You know, like how many people have a cruise agent? He calls his cruise agent, tells them where they want to go. They tell him what's booked. And you have to remember, he didn't just, he paid for that initial was me, him, and his mother. Um, and then after that cruise, you all flew to Aruba and spent a couple of days in a hotel there, correct? Right. And his mother was not happy. He that initially we left her paid for that. He initially paid for that. For Aruba. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's talk about both of those. I know he initially paid for it. Did you pay him back? For the cruise and for Aruba. Yeah, I gave him his money before we ever went on that trip. You gave him cash before you ever went on the trip? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so when you got cash to pay him back on these trips, would you go to the ATM? No, lady. You would not go to the ATM? No. Okay. So um, Fulton County pays you direct deposit, I assume? Yes, Fulton right. County and the uh, state of Georgia both pay me direct deposits. Okay. So the cash that you would pay him, you wouldn't get it out of the bank? I have money in my house. You have money in your house. So it was just money that was there. When you meet my father, he is going to tell you as a woman, you should always have, which I don't have, so let's don't tell him that. You should have at least six months in cash at your house at all times. Now, I don't know why this old black man feels like that, but he does. When we were growing up, my daddy had three safes in the house. So my father's bought me a lockbox, and I always keep cash in the house. Now, I don't do it to the degree that my father would do it, so he would probably be uh, ashamed with me, but I always have cash at the house. That has been, I don't know, all my life. If you're a woman and you go on a date with a man, you better have $200 in your pocket. So if that man acts up, you can go where you want to go. So I keep cash in my house, and I don't keep cash as good in my purse like I used to, because um, I don't go on many dates. but. When you go on a date, you should have cash in your pocket. So my question was, where did that cash originally come from? If it didn't cash come out of the bank? Cash is uh, fungible. I had cash for years in my house. So for me to tell you the source of when it comes from,
When you go to Publix and you buy something, you get fifty dollars. You throw it in there. When you, it's been my whole life. When I took out a large amount of money on my first campaign, I kept some of the cash of that. Like to tell you, I just have cash in my house. I don't have as much today as I would normally have, but I'm building back up now. So you just put money in. It's a very good practice. I would advise it to all women. So you can't identify when you came into this cash or where the cash came from? I didn't say I couldn't identify it. No, nobody gives me anything. I am sure that the source of the money is always the work, sweat, and tears of me. What you asked me for is when did the money go in there? What I am trying to tell you is so I got divorced in 2005 from my husband. And, and no, 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 it's important. You said, where did the money come from? Where and I need to tell you where the money came from. Please and so for questions. many, many years, I have kept money in my house. That money in my worst days has probably only been 500 or $1,000. At my best days, I probably had $15,000 in my house at Kate. cash. At all times, there's going to be cash in my house or wherever I'm laying my head. The money that you paid Mr. Wade, the cash, in October of 2022, you do not know where that money came from. I do know where it came from. It came from my sweat and tears. Do you know which job it came from? Did it come from Fulton County or did it come from a private job? It came from, I don't, I'm not a, what are you talking about? So it could have come from a private job because before I was DA, I was in private practice. So I earned money during that time period that's probably in there. You don't it know could where have, from. what do you mean I don't know where it came from? I, I absolutely understand the situation. We can move on. Okay, thanks. Um, same with Aruba. You don't know where that cash came from either, right? Ma'am, you are mischaracterizing my testimony greatly. Um, I'm not going to allow you to mischaracterize my testimony. I know that I keep money in my house. The amounts of money I gave Mr. Wade, it was never that serious. I don't think I've ever handed him more than $2,500 in a reimbursement. So we're not talking about $20,000 in cash. I don't have $20,000 in cash right now. The most I ever gave him, I know I gave him $2,500 when we went to Belize because we went to one um, hotel and then we went to a second hotel. That $2,500 I actually gave him while we were still in Belize. I know that the Aruba trip, the one that you described with his mom, I think I gave him about $2,000 for that trip for like total. His mom uh, went to Aruba with you? The Aruba trip. So I consider that to be one trip. So okay. we got off of a cruise ship and then we went to Aruba, which is why I cannot remember is that the time that we had to stay in Miami to wait for the flight for Aruba. So I consider that one trip, but we didn't like come back to Atlanta and leave. We went, we flew down to Miami. We got on a cruise ship. We spent a couple of days with his mama. We came back to Miami. When we came back to Miami, either that day or the next day, we flew to Aruba. We spent a few days in Aruba and we came back. That was really one trip. Uh, even though we went two places, it was one trip. Um, so let's talk about the California trip. Um, is that when you were moving your daughter out to California? When you all went, or did you have two trips to California? My daughter doesn't live in California. Did she ever live in California? I'm not discussing to you the location of my child. Um, so how many times did you go with Mr. Wade to California? Once. And you all stayed in Napa Valley, and he paid for the plane tickets and the hotel? He paid for the plane tickets and the hotel. Okay. Um, and what did you pay for on that trip? I gave him much less cash that time, probably four or $500, and then I paid for uh, a bunch of stuff. I think we did two different wine tours that you do, which are pretty expensive. Um, I think I bought him. He likes wine. I don't really like wine, to be honest with you. I like Grey Goose. Um, I bought him a bottle of wine while we were there and the sippings that you do. I, I can't remember how many, like four or five different places you go. I remember we went to, um, to this place that they do pairings. Um, that was the most expensive thing that I think that we did while we were there. So they would pair, uh, they, they would pair uh, champagne, chocolate, and champagne, chocolate, and caviar. It was a three, and it was like three different things. Sweden, Russia, someplace else, I'll make that up. But um, that, that was the most expensive thing we did that trip, and I paid for, I paid for that. You pay cash? For us doing that, mm -hmm. yeah, I think I. But I, that trip did not cost me a lot of money. I might have took like seven hundred and fifty dollars in cash on me because we weren't gone very long. I was and just, then I. I'd only asked if you paid in cash. I don't even know the amount. When I travel, I always take cash. Um, and is the cash that you keep in your house, or do you keep it at the condo that you were living in? So at that point, it wouldn't be at my house. And I'm sorry if 
I was not clear. The money would be wherever I laid my head. So I wouldn't leave the money at the house. So if um, I was unclear, no, money's gonna be where I stay. How much did you pay for your trip to Panama? To where? Panama, I believe. I didn't go to I Panama. The, I may have the location wrong. I never went to Panama. So Mr. After Way Pal went to uh, Panama with his frat brother. Oh, he went to Panama with his frat brother. So tell me about, let's see. So I want to make sure I've got them. I've got Belize. You already covered Belize. You covered the... So let me tell you our real trips. In October, we went with, uh, we went on the cruise with his mom. We got back from the cruise with his mom and we went to Aruba. I consider that one trip. Second trip, New Year's Eve, we went on a cruise to the Bahamas. That's the second trip. I want to make sure I get this right. Third trip, 100% on me. I think he might have spent $200 on that entire trip. Uh, we went to Belize. That was my trip. That was, you know, his 50th. And then Napa Valley, we went around May. I don't know the dates, but it seems to me like it was close to Mother's Day. And those are the only trips? Um, so that the record is complete. Uh, I can remember one time driving to where were we? South Carolina, and we met my sister for lunch with her man. Um, when we was didn't that? Stay the, I don't know, but we didn't stay the night there. But I guess people would consider that a trip if you drive somewhere and you come back. That was insane because it was like five hours to drive. We ate lunch and we drove right back. Um, I can remember driving to some little town in Georgia. I don't even know where I was. Um, I had never been there before or after. There's some boat you can get on over to, and there's like a slave thing. If that gives anyone any reference, we didn't do that. Um, I remember doing that. I remember driving one time to Charlotte. We had lunch with one of my very close girlfriends. And again, we drove to Charlotte, met my girlfriend for lunch, and drove right back. So that's a trip. We didn't stay the night there, but I just want to be complete in my testimony. We drove someplace, had lunch, drove back. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember another driving someplace distant for um, lunch and coming back to Charlotte to see a girlfriend, to meet my sister uh, in South Carolina. We went by ourselves when I told you about that remote place in Georgia. We could have driven someplace else and had lunch and came back, but that's all that comes to my recollection right now. There could have been another place we drove and had lunch. My um, security team was very clear to me. I'm not to be out and about in Atlanta without them. And so for me to do something just very normal that a normal person would get to do, if they weren't prosecuting this case, I got to drive four hours to do it. And that's what I was going to ask you. Your security detail, did they take you to and from your house? They take, well, so I haven't been able to enjoy my home. Condo, I'm sorry. In a, March of where you lay your head? Do they take you to and from where you lay your head? 99% of the time. Would they take Mr. Wade to and from wherever you laid your head? That has never in the history of ever happened, ever, okay? Your security so, team has never taken him? To, from my house? That's a lie. I'm that's another. if they've ever taken him anywhere. And I'm telling you that that's never happened. So your security team has never taken my Mr. Wade security anywhere. team has never taken Mr. Wade from any place where I have lived and brought him here. Never, not once, not ever. Have they ever taken the two of you together? To where? Anywhere. We've left this building and um, for gone to lunch, but I go to lunch so rarely that that is a very rare occasion. I am sure. And let me be clear, it wouldn't just be Mr. Wade. So I'm sure my security team has taken me to lunch. Probably been a time I've left here, seven o'clock, gone to get something to eat. And I don't even know that they would have taken him or if he would have driven himself, but they've taken me to do that. But we're talking very few, very far in between. Most days I don't even eat lunch. And when I do, it's because my assistant has heated up some bag, something, and I, I eat through meetings and eat in my office. It's not a practice of mine to go to lunch. During the time period that you were dating, would your security team ever take you two together anywhere? No. Never? If there was a lunch that occurred that I just described, if there was a meal that I occurred that I just described, anything outside of that, and it needs to be very clear, not often, once, twice, because I want to be uh, 
over-inclusive, I'm saying once or twice. I'm not certain that it happened, but I'd rather be over-inclusive with you. So your office objected to us getting um, Delta records for flights that you may have taken with no, Mr. Wade. And, well, no, 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 look. Uh, I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. So my question was, do you have any problem? I object to getting any personal records of mine. We're not dealing with privilege through a witness. And I'm not, no, 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 I'm not dealing with privilege. What um, we had offered to put them in camera for the court to review, and I just want to know if she has any That's problem. That's not something you deal with with a witness. Okay, um, you have to file as part of your job something called an income and financial disclosure report, correct? That's correct. And you filed your first one. So you filed two today, is that right? Is it two or three? I probably would have filed 21, 22. And maybe I haven't filed 23 yet, because isn't it due like June of the next year? April, I believe. So you filed, let's see, you filed your first one, it looks like April 15th, 2022. And your second one, um, April 17th, 2023. Does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. That I don't remember the dates, but you're an officer of the court. I'm going to hope you're telling the truth now. May I, pr may I approach the witness? You may. Thank you. Um, I already gave the state a copy, exhibits 20 and 21, so you can look at those. They don't have a certain type of reference. Can somebody bring me some? Yeah. <laughs> some phone. Guys are getting a little old. Yes. Okay, yes, so those are the ones that you filed? This def this looks like me for sure. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Judge, we'd move to admit 20 and 21. I think you need to delineate which ones. Which, which 20 ones is 2021, so it, it accounts for the time period, Your Honor, January the 1st, 21 through December the 31st, 2021. That is Defendant's Exhibit 20. Um, Defendant's Exhibit 2021, it accounts for the time period January the 1st, 2022 through December the 1st of 2022. All right, any objection to Exhibits 20 and 21? Nope. <coughs> no, sorry. From other counsel, admitted without objection. Yeah. Um, when did your relationship, your personal relationship with Mr. Wade end? Our personal relationship ended in um, this year. So let's be, let's be very clear so that we don't mix words. I, I don't want to mix words in here. Mr. Wade is my friend right now. Um, Mr. Wade, I would say, has been my friend since 2020. I think he started out as like a mentor and a professional colleague. Um, he became my friend and somebody that I, I really respected. Um, I feel very indebted to Mr. Wade uh, for taking on the task of this job. And um, he is certainly my friend and one of the people that I respect the most. Um, so if you ask about a personal relationship, I consider myself to have a personal relationship right now, Mr. Wade. I consider myself to have a personal relationship with Anna Cross. I consider myself to have a personal relationship with Mr. Abadi. Mm -hmm. I consider myself to have a personal relationship with Andrew Evans. Okay, let me just so clarify that. I have a personal relationship with him as we speak right now. A romantic I don't think that's what you're asking. I think that's what you're asking. When did your romantic relationship with Mr. Wade end? My did it end? Me and Mr. Wade, um, we are good friends. Uh, my respect for him has grown over these seven weeks of attacks. Uh, we are very good friends. I think but for these attacks, it would have been a friendship that as life goes, you would have stopped having. Um, I think that you have cemented that we'll be friends to the day we die. Right. <clears throat> that, uh, let's, Do we just have an answer to the question? I'm, I can handle this, say that. Let's he, have it. She asked about a personal relationship. She asked when the romantic relationship ended. That's the question. It, sometime in, um, I'd say late summer of 2023. But I don't believe me and, um, so this is what you're really asking about. This is the salaciousness of all of this, right? No, I'm just uh, asking about your romantic relationship. When you stopped I, dating. I, asking. I, I think that me and Mr. Wade, so he's a man. He probably would say June or July. I would say we had a tough conversation in August. So that men in relationships at the end of physical intimacy, 
women in relationships when that tough conversation takes place. And where, um, when did he come to, I guess the condo, I'm not sure what you called it, condo apartment, um, would he come and stay at that condo or visit you there? I'm sorry, visit you there. What condo, what apartment, I wanna be clear. So not your house. I know you classified one as house and one as condo, so I'm trying to use those terms. So um, there's been more, that, see what you don't understand is because of this case, I gotta move. And so I, Ms. I Merchant, to, if you could ask a more precise yes, question. Yes, please, give me the time period. That <laughs> Mr. Wade about. visits you at the place you laid your head. When? Has he ever visited you at the place you laid your head? So let's be clear, because you lied in this, this, let me tell you which one you lied in, right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth, Judge. And this it, it, it is a lie. It We're is gonna, a lie. Right, Ms. Will? You Mr. Sena, thank you. We're going to take five minutes. Thanks. Be back in five. May I go to the test?